All right, what's going on guys? It's Greg here today bringing you a Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 gameplay commentary. And what you should be watching in the background here is one of the most disgusting spawn traps I have ever seen on this game. And then the next match is the complete opposite where the spawns just don't stop moving and it feels like almost like a free-for-all running simulator. Just really strange. Uh, the spawns in this game definitely need some work. They need to find a good balance between flipping and sticking so that way map control actually makes sense based off of how far you push up because you guys will see we're pushed up pretty deep in this one and the spawns <laughs> they don't want to budge then the next one not really pushing up that crazy or even like flanking that crazy i mean you know pushing up somewhat but there's still spawns available in that area and they'll just keep flipping all over the place so um yeah that's the two gameplays and now for why i haven't been uploading so first things first, the reason I haven't been uploading is because my Adobe Premiere subscription ran out and I was no longer wanting to renew it because they increased the prices by quite a bit compared to last year. And uh, I just didn't see the whole cost efficiency there of the program, especially for just how many you know different tools I needed and stuff to make my videos. So I just didn't want to spend the money on it. But thankfully, a subscriber of mine who goes by Prime Pete let me know about this program I'm using now called DaVinci Resolve, and as I get used to it more, I'll be able to continue the style of videos we once had and all that kind of stuff. Now, they might not be as detailed as they used to be because I don't have Photoshop, and if there is a program out there that I can find or that you guys might know of that is like Photoshop, but um, it's you know not expensive or uh, maybe it's even free, please let me know, but it needs to be something that I can really use that's pretty similar to Photoshop. It can't just be like MS Paint or something. So, um, yeah, we'll see how things go and uh, we'll see what we do here on the channel going forward with that being said. Anyways, um, MW3, do I like MW3? Well, I do and I don't. And I talked about this in a post on my channel where it was a text post and I said that, you know, Modern Warfare 3, um, this, the kill streaks just feel really lackluster. And I still stand by that. Although, you know, the advanced UAV, the EMP, the Swarm, the Gunship, um, and the UAV and the Counter UAV, they're all strong kill streaks, right? There still is a problem with the Swarm, which will just randomly disappear um, whenever you die, which needs to be fixed because for how hard it is to get a Swarm, um, it's just not very rewarding if it just randomly goes away because you died. So that's a problem. Another thing is, is the lower to mid tier streaks just don't feel that powerful. They don't feel rewarding. Like if you get a VTOL, VTOLs just pretty much instantly got shot down. They don't get a lot of kills. This gameplay is kind of a bad example because for whatever reason, it was just kind of popping off in this one. But the majority of the times I call on a VTOL, it might average me a single kill, which is just really bad for a 10 kill streak. And the Stealth Bomber... Don't even get me started because people are constantly getting back in spawn protection in 10v10, 6v6, 12v12. And I mean, how's a stealth bomber going to get a lot of kills for a 10 kill streak if there's so much spawn protection because people are constantly dying and respawning? So the stealth bomber at a 10 kill streak, it doesn't really make sense. Um, the juggernaut recon and juggernaut, I, I'm just not a fan of those streaks because I can't use my gun and can't earn more streaks while I'm using them or whatever. So, um, yeah, I'm not a big fan of Juggernauts, never have been. Um, and then that leads you left with, like, the SAE, which is good. I mean, I don't like the Precision Air Strike or Mortar Strike because you don't place them via tablet. You look through a pair of binoculars, which just isn't very efficient for placement. So I don't like those. The Cruise Missile, I, it, I feel it takes too long to use for how many kills you're going to get for it, and I feel they're just better options. So it really just leaves me with, like, UAVs, counter UAVs, uh, cluster mines, SAEs, and the gunship, the advanced, the swarm, the EMP. I, I feel that the chopper gunner is completely useless because it's it's a 12 kill streak, but it can be shot down by bullets, Whereas the advanced UAV and the gunship cannot be shot down by bullets, and they're also in the same slot, so you can't run them all together. Um, I wish they would stop having this kill streak tier, where like eight kill streaks are Wilson, Juggernaut Recon, and Overwatch Helo. I wish we could just go back to old style score streaks, where every score streak had its own individual score value, and you earned it by earning 
that amount of score and they were balanced around that amount of score, meaning you can run whatever three score streaks you wanted to. There's no, you can't run this because it's in the same tier. I wish they would go back to that because it adds way more variety and it also just makes it more balanced and easier to balance out the streaks. And I just feel that that's the main issue with the streaks in this game is there's not a lot of variety and they're just weak. Like, how many times you call in an Overwatch Halo and it actually gets kills? In 6v6, maybe on shipment or a small map, it might be okay. But on a map like Greece in 10v10 or 12v12, it's going to instantly get fried out of the sky because it barely takes any amount of bullets to destroy. So... The streaks are just not that rewarding in this game, and I get bored of just running advanced UAVs, EMPs, UAVs, counter UAVs, um, and yeah, having to go for a gunship or a swarm all the time. It just I, I wish there was more variety to play around with, um, and it would be much more fun for me. The next thing is the weapon balance. I feel that every gun in this game has a very similar time to kill. A lot of these SMGs kill within the same realm of an assault rifle. The LMGs are pretty slow. They're meant to be used for like long ranges in this really campy play style. And then the sniper rifles, well, and the marksman rifles, like all can basically one shot in some way. Um, most of them, I should say. Uh, so they're obviously going to be good when you have more health in the equation, and right now I really feel like SMGs are just way too weak up close. Handling is fine as an attribute, you know, for why um, SMGs are supposed to be strong, but the time to kill needs to be at least somewhat noticeably different from assault rifles, okay? And that's why, like, the Rival 9 is probably the best sub in the game because it kills the fastest compared to, let's say, an MCW, it's like a 60 millisecond difference. The WSP Swarm out to like 4 meters can kill in 225 milliseconds compared to most of the assault rifles which hover around 300. But if you have like a WSP-9, the Striker-9, the AMR-9, they all have a 300 plus time to kill, which some of the assault rifles kill faster. So to me, SMGs need... Some of the weaker SMGs need either damage buffs or fire rate buffs to make it so their time to kill stands out up close. Because right now, if the SMGs have basically the same stopping power as an assault rifle, but they have such worse ranges, you can always position yourself and play around your mobility disadvantage. And it just feels like SMGs just don't have a place in the game for the most part outside of the Swarm and the Rival 9. Um, the Striker is hit or miss, okay? It's a little bit of a hybrid between an assault rifle and a submachine gun, but it's still kind of hit or miss. So that's my issue with the weapon balancing. Again, the LMGs almost feel mostly useless um, because you have to basically mix in headshots. And again, while that is a great thing, I wish we could just have better weapon balancing across the board, better time to kills across the board, depending on what weapon class you're using, so it actually feels like it's being used the way it's meant to be used, if that makes sense. Um, so that leads us to the map design in this game. Now, we have the original Modern Warfare 2 maps from the original Modern Warfare 2, and uh, I like those maps. I think they do hold a special place in my heart. But my main issue with those maps is that they tend to heavily cater towards sniper rifles, marksman rifles, and assault rifles, which just doubles down on the weapon balancing issue. So it really just makes it feel like the only guns worth running in this game are essentially assault rifles, snipers, or marksman rifles, or something of that nature. Um... So yeah, I, I really also feel the map design doesn't really fit the whole movement aspect of the game where you can do all this climbing on like high rise, for example, and whatever it is. Like it feels like it was just meant for a different era, these style of maps. And if they wanted to have this movement, then they should have made maps that fit the movement. But um, overall, the rest of the gameplay with Modern Warfare 3, like I do like the movement changes. I like the guns, although I wish the time to kills were a little bit different. I like the higher health. I like these things about the game, but those three main issues for me just are enough to really kind of put 
a clamp on this game. Like it just it just kind of dampens the fun. Um, but anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed. We'll see if I bring some more videos. How I'm gonna go about doing it right now because like I said, I don't have Photoshop, and uh, that's a huge part for thumbnails as well as my editing. So we'll see how things go. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out.